All right, so after recording all of that lovely game footage from Vampire, it turns out my audio was not captured. So, this is Vampire in a Nutshell. It's a lovely night in Victorian England when Dr. Jonathan Reed wakes up in a pile of dead bodies thinking, man, I had too much to drink. Shambling around in the streets searching for a Bloody Mary, he stumbles upon a woman who ironically is named Mary and is also ironically full of blood. Jonathan does a very vampire-y thing and drains her blood, at which point he snaps out of his stupor long enough to realize his sister is also named Mary and, go figure, this was her. Possibly because he just killed a woman, a bunch of dudes start chasing him. He starts shouting about his innocence, all the while killing a bunch of them for getting in his damn way. He tries to kill himself, because why exclude yourself from the party, but it doesn't take. Since that doesn't work, he decides to track down the real killers instead. Then he eats some rats, meets the locals, who could also use a Bloody Mary, and joins the ranks of the Pembroke Hospital because he is still a doctor, after all, and good help is hard to find. He discovers some sweet vampire powers, like poofing across gaps and ledges, all while having the complete inability to jump or climb. In his quest to prove he is not a killer, Jonathan goes on a rampage through the streets of London, killing a bunch of monster hunters who were days away from retirement. But being an equal opportunity vampire, he also starts to dispatch monsters himself, which is good because I heard a bunch of monster hunters were recently slaughtered by an unknown assailant. Since vampires are immortal, it becomes obvious the biggest threat to Jonathan's existence are load screens, which just go on forever. And with practice, a clever vampire can make the denizens of London fight each other, cutting out the middleman because time is money. Also because the combat system was based on a broken whack-a-mole machine. Throughout the game, Jonathan walks a moral tightrope over whether to kill, sorry, embrace, the citizens of London so he can get a big experience boost and take their stuff. Or keep them healthy to cleanse each area and do their side missions. But after he discovers the old doctor at the hospital stashed away the best mace in the game, it's blood-sucking time. Oh, he died? You don't say. Th this is the first I've, I've ever heard about it. Ooh. Ooh. Um. Eventually, Dr. Reed runs across a big jerk named Fergal, because even his parents hated him. Turns out Fergal is the boogeyman known as the Sewer Dog, a legendary creature thought to be unstoppable. Jonathan kills him using a big stick. He then meets the cover model for a Slayer album. In a plot twist that no one saw coming, Mary, who was killed by a vampire at the start of the game, comes back as a vampire, which is crazy. Finally, after spending the whole game in remorse over killing his sister, Jonathan kills his sister again. But this time, it's personal. Dr. Reed then gets invited to join the Ascalon Club because Fergal was a member and there's a vacancy. He tracks down the source of the plague, who is apparently a method actress that took things a little too far. Like Jared Leto far. But that wasn't the only source of the plague and more busy work was required. After seeing a monster hunting priest doing calisthenics in the park, Dr. Reed resigned himself to the fact that London was screwed and nothing he could do would save it. The residents kept coming down with colds, bigger monsters kept popping up in the streets, and those load screens loomed high on the horizon. We can only assume he walked away from all that noise, wandering off to kill more things and blame it on someone else. Dr. Jonathan Reed now lives in the Caymans, drinking Bloody Marys and reading about his hero Negan from The Walking Dead. All right, just gonna wait for the game to load back up. Yep. Oh, maybe just check my phone uh, while we're at it. Just see what's going on. See if everybody is uh, still looking forward to the magic of the Halloween season and all the spooky times that, that it brings. Um, Check check a couple of my games while I'm at it. Just, uh... Yep, any moving? Moving at all? No? Okay. Never mind. Oh, that's a funny picture. Oh. An otter. I like otters. They're otter chaos. That Which is perfect for this. I wonder if I could make a Halloween costume out of an otter. An, an otter costume? I don't think that... Oh, oh, wait, wait. I think we're getting somewhere. Oh, okay. Are, is the game starting? Do we get to do something? Oh, oh. Okay, we're back. 